I'm Dante Dorgacuna. My name is Jomir Salcedo. My name is Abu Zafar. My name is Jessica Jimenez. My name is Siobhan. My name is Aaron Morrison. I'm a senior writer here at Mike. I'm a designer here at Mike. I'm a video producer. I'm a segment producer. I'm a product manager. I'm a studio technician and video editor here at Mike. One thing that drew me to Mike was the, definitely the different, the storytelling aspect of everything, how there was different voices. We have food, we have travel, we have, you know, injustice, we have, um, politics. So there's a lot of different realms. I've been at Mike for two years. They said they were looking for someone who could cover the movement for black lives. Coming to Mike, it's a great move. I feel really happy about it. It became really important to me to work on tech projects that I felt had a, had a good social impact. We decided to take uh, the pivot to video to heart and started doing more quality videos. Quality meaning highlighting our journalism that the written side was doing. So we eventually pivoted to this correspondent-led, correspondent-focused type of video. There's a lot of new techniques that the old guard of journalism has a lot of catching up to do. I think what surprised me about Mike that didn't seem so obvious at first, that things are constantly changing. And Mike has a done its best and attempted to sort of stay ahead of the curve. At Mike, I'm the producer for the senior style writer Evan Katz, and we really cover LGBTQ issues. And a memorable shoot we recently did was with the entire cast of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> yes. All 10 queens for the upcoming season came in, and we interviewed them for we interviewed them. What did we even interview them for? All of a sudden, they don't tell me how handsome I am. I'm like, wait a minute, what the hell? I've been single, I've been single all this time, and now you want to talk to me? What it takes to be a producer is having a holistic understanding of how to visually tell a story. What I do isn't necessarily going to be what somebody else at Mike is good at. My skill set is writing, shooting, editing, video. And I know how to do that really well. And I've spent effectively my entire life working on video production and learning everything that's involved in that. We have a strategy that is very different from the rest of our competitors. So we want to channel that into videos that have bigger impact because they are really thoroughly researched. This is Unite the Right, one of the largest far-right gatherings of traditionalist parties and white nationalists, perhaps uh, for a generation. And uh, they're here to protect that statue. In the past, we've been really good at getting kind of quick hit, huge viral pieces. People take to them and they want to share them and talk about them, but there's not, there wasn't as much of a drawn out narrative, you know, investigative reporting. So I think we were doing a much better job at that. And we're starting to think about that in terms of like time spent and time well spent instead of just like how many people viewed it. It's, it's much more about how many people were deeply engaged, how many people learned something from it. You know, people don't necessarily want to see journalists always just parachuting in when a, an emergency is happening. They want to see you in moments where things are quiet. You, you try to change your perspective on analytics and metrics to reflect what we want the actual outcome of our journalism to be. The value now is not completely tied up in how many views we have. It's the depth of the views. It's like the depth of the impact, really. There's some schools that would send you home for wearing the t-shirts that you're wearing right now. For the Vermont story, we were coming off of the Super Bowl, and then we were thinking about, okay, it's, um, you know, it's Black History Month, and we wanted to uh, find another way to, to be talking about what's happening in the activist world. And what we saw was that not only did the school in Vermont become the first to raise the Black Lives Matter flag, there was a Black Lives Matter in Schools Action Week taking place across the country. We are raising the Black Lives Matter flag on this school campus because we want to be represented. So we wanted to peg that story uh, about the flag in Vermont at uh, Montpelier High School to uh, what was happening across the country. Public schools, even majority white schools, are increasingly embracing the idea of teaching Black Lives Matter. I'm not a racist, never happened. Some of my best friends are black. Calling you all the way from North Carolina. You should be ashamed of yourself, buddy. Your school should be ashamed of yourself. Just when you're sitting there and you're listening to people share their real, raw, sometimes nonsensical um, arguments against something or for something, it's funny sometimes. It actually makes you, uh, it's that, 
that makes it enjoyable because you're almost like opening a present or opening like some sort of Easter egg that you don't know what's inside. But once you find out what's inside, then you're able to sort of craft uh, a way to tell this story. A lot of the journalists that are here, a lot of the writers, the editors, they really hone into what they're doing. This is their passion. It's, I think we started to like come into a great flow where every, everyone's ideas are, are coming to the table. Hone in on the passion that got you into journalism to begin with. I think to me, the most important part of my career is actually outside of my job. A lot of what I do is passion projects and personal projects and side hustles, and I think ultimately that's more important. Don't underestimate the power of relationships. I grew up in Queens and Brooklyn. So I'm a New Yorker, native New Yorker. I've been here my whole life. You would have to go into the community, talk to people, and figure it out and do your own research. The internet has doesn't have everything. There's certain things that the internet cannot teach you. You can put together a media story. You can put together a video and it can be it can perform well. Whether that story continues to matter, you know, in the days and the weeks and months after it was posted really depends on how well established your relationships are and that you're showing care and compassion for the communities that are trusting you with their story.